So my final guest is Maria, uh, a doctoral student at UNU Merit, who is studying um, what uh, these kinds of transitions called sustainability transitions. And so I, I want to ask Maria. Maria, are you there? Yes, I'm here. OK. Hi, Maria. So I want to ask you, Maria. Uh, what would you call what Hari and his friends have done and what uh, everybody else, you know, has been talking about today? What would you call that? And what do scholars say about it? I, uh, I know you have given me a few slides, so you give me the cue. Should I start? Okay, so first, please let me also address a very big thanks to, to you for the organization of the event and to all the panelists. It was really insightful and I really enjoyed watching and I was taking notes of everything you said it was very, very interesting. Thank you very much. Um, so I, I first want to say, first of all, that I think after seeing all these case studies and all this work that all the people did, I feel much more uh, optimistic that, uh, yes, a change can happen. So I think my answer changed from before I, I joining the event and now. So going to your first question, yeah, please, if you can go to the next slide. I think uh, what we call it, uh, how we call these processes, how we conceptualize them uh, in the literature is what we call uh, the circular economy model. So what we have been used to uh, studying and, and working so far is what we call a linear model. That's something we usually um, correlate with the waste management processes. So how we actually extract natural resources, how we make our products, how we use these product, products, and then how can we finally dispose of them to landfills or to the environment. So this process is what we call a linear model because it follows a linear uh, process of managing and finally disposing the resources. Now what we move towards, and it's part of many discussions at the policy level, is the circular economy model, which actually says that the goal is, at the end of the, of the day, to extract the least natural resources possible and to uh, dispose the least waste um, to the environment and to the landfills. So how can we do it? We do it through different uh, circular economy uh, practices and, and uh, um, processes such as recycling, reusing, repairing, remanufacturing, and so on. So the ultimate goal of all this is to have the least uh, waste uh, disposed to the environment at the end of their life. This is what we call very briefly the circular economy model. Now, this applies very nicely to uh, the sanitation challenge that we discussed here today. So this is the next slide. Uh, so uh, we are here talking actually about a circular economy sanitation model. And what Har has already achieved and, and Liam and all the other people who talk today is that they're actually showing us how we can make it happen. So how can we go from human waste uh, to a model, to a system that is actually collecting the waste, going through treatment and processing um, facilities, and actually then generating value, generating new materials and, and new resources. These uh, resources uh, can be, for example, uh, water, energy, organic matters that can be transformed to biogas, biofuel, plant fertilizers. But what is very important here in this picture is that we have a, a value generated for different stakeholders as well. So you see the farmers, um, you see the treatment plants. So we, what we try to achieve here is th through this human waste generated to re-enter them into the economy, to re-enter them into the system, but also generate value, positive value for different stakeholders in the system, either through uh, by directly using these resources or by, for example, uh, using the energy to um, fit into the treatment plants, use the compost we use, and so on. Uh, answering your last question, Professor Romani, about how can we accelerate this transition and how can we really make it happen? I collected here from the literature four main points that I found more important for this, and I grouped them into the time horizon, starting from, from those that they need theoretically the least time to those that are more long-term processes. So starting from the first one, I would say we talk about uh, operational and management issues. So how can we regulate the prices? How can we build the necessary infrastructure? How can we incentivize people 
uh, to adopt a different behavior or uh, like uh, adopt a different type of infrastructure. Then we go to the government level uh, changes that we need. So how can we uh, really talk about subsidies, investments to these technologies and to these infrastructures? How can we rearrange the contracts with different service providers and so on? Then we talk about institutional environmental changes, and this is about uh, this technical design uh, as well as policy trajectories that we have been established for very long, and this also needs to, to, to change towards this direction. But the one that seems to take longer is that about uh, shifting in social norms. How can we change the perceptions of the people about the meaning and the value of human waste, and how can we also accompany this change of the informal institutions, as we call them, with also the necessary technological change and innovations that we need uh, also to, do, to have. But before I conclude, I want to say also to talk about the fifth one, which is uh, this about synergetic solutions that we need. And here I want to make two points. First of all, we don't need to, we must not forget that when we talk about sanitation, it's not only about sanitation. It's also about water. It's also about energy. It's also about waste. It's also about food. Uh, so it's many more things, and we don't, we should not forget this complexity of the issue, but also that by bringing one solution, we should not generate other negative externalities to other systems. So we should think in this synergetic way, how can we create positive value for more than one system, for more than one stakeholders? And to achieve that, we need really collaborative solutions. So we need to bring to the table different stakeholders from all these different fields and systems and to together um, accelerate this transition in a synergetic and collaborative way. Thank you. Thank you very much.